Well, the middle distance athletes are out on the track. The women's 1500 meters, three and three quarter laps of the track. And there is that uh, full field. Incredible, the Chinese Federation uh, couldn't get an athlete out for this one as well, when you think that they have some of the fastest athletes in history in this discipline. Contrasting wishes, perhaps, between uh, Gemma Riki of Great Britain, who will want it to be fast. She needs 4.07 for those European championships. And Simoya Campbell of Jamaica, who's really a 400, 800 runner, might want it slow. So who is going to take it out? Traditionally, of course, championship races like this, where points are critical for your team, are uh, slow and meandering and tactical. They become cerebral affairs. But let's take a look at these athletes now. There is Gemma Riki, European junior champion last year. She's only 20 years old. Second to Laura Waitman at the British Championships a couple of weeks back, but does need 4.07 exactly to get selected for the European team. She's a British team for the Europeans. She's only run 4.09. The French athlete there, Claude Boxberger of uh, France, to the second to left. I actually raced against her dad many, many years ago. Wouldn't believe I'm that old, would you? The German, Simone Campbell, the uh, Jamaican Simone Campbell, looks like a non starter out there. That's a little bizarre. We've not received any word of that, but uh, Simoya Campbell is a no-show from what we've seen so far. Poland's uh, Sofia Anawi, semi-finals the World Championships, is also there. She's perhaps the favourite here with a 402 to her name this year, and Karina Villon of uh, South Africa. This is her first race for several weeks. So just six athletes in this 1,500 metres. Tiny field, will that make it even more of a cat and mouse affair? The American Rachel Snyder in that uh, blue kit was second in the American Championships 5,000 meters. Now, her best is 408. She's not that quick by international standards, but she's strong. And I wonder whether she might want to make this a fast, healthy affair from the front. Although, as I say that, so Ophelia uh, Claude Boxberger of France has taken it out at a very healthy clip. Goodness me, Gemma Riki slots in second place, and this would see, suit her perfectly, Catherine, if uh, it were to be a quick tempo. Well, indeed, the French athlete's going to make a good race of this, isn't she? And it looks a little bit nippy, which is good, especially, as you mentioned, Tim, for Gemma Riki, chasing the qualifying time, you say. 4.07, she's got till the 22nd of July to do it to get on the European team for Great Britain. So she's put herself in a good position, a British athlete, but the French athlete, Yep, she's not messing around here, looking for good points for France. Well, she's gone through 300 metres there in around 47, 48 seconds, so they're on schedule for something like 64 seconds when they go through 400 metres. That would be four minutes tempo exactly. There's the line they go through now, 64.4. It's very quick indeed. I mean, I hesitate to say it, but this is almost suicidal from Claude Boxberger of France. She's only ever run 4.11 for 1,500 metres, and she's going at a tempo way over 10 seconds quicker. Well, she's the French steeplechase champion, as you mentioned, Tim, this year, and she's stretching this one out, isn't she? Look, the six athletes virtually evenly spread in this women's 1,500 metres. Coming round the top bend, the crowd are really getting into this World Cup event. Good representation, good positioning from Gemma Riki of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, but the French athlete happy to take this one, and as you say, the rest are poised and lined up behind her. Just over two laps to run in this 1500 metres, beginning to struggle now is the South African Villion to left of picture as Claude Boxberger of France leads through in 155 there up to 700 metres. It's been very aggressive. She is strong as a steeplechase, so that's probably what she's wanted to do is to make this a real honest 1500. A test of strength in second place is still Riki of Great Britain. In third is the American Rachel Schneider. Then the dangerous pole, Sophia Nowy, who won't be intimidated by this. She's fast and she's strong. She's a good cross-country runner. She's run almost two minutes for 800 metres, and she in that white and red strip for Poland in fourth place. Looks comfortable at the moment. The German there in fifth, uh, Grantz, Katarina Grantz. A lap and a half to run, then. Claude Boxberger hasn't shaken off four of the five other athletes in this race. Villon of South Africa struggling. The 21-year-old uh, has a best of only 4.16. This is way quicker than she's capable of managing. So they come into the straight for the penultimate time. Riki, perfectly positioned there for Great Britain. They went through 800 and 212.97, almost 213. So that second lap was, uh, what, around 68 and a half, after a 64 and a half. And at the bell, Claude Boxberger from Riki. 
from the American Schneider. Then Anoui of the Poland. As a Moroccan father, a Polish mum has lived in Poland since she was two and says she feels 100% Polish. But with 300 metres to run, now Schneider kicks away. Well, Schneider's made a move down the back straight, but watch Anoui, the Poland athlete. She's the quickest on paper in 2018. She's going down the back straight into lane number two. The French athlete is spent. USA, Poland, Great Britain, Northern Ireland and Germany. Well, that third lap is only a click inside 70 seconds. Schneider there has run a really smart last couple of hundred metres. She accelerated there as the attack came in from Anoui and kicks again really hard. The Americans with such a strong tradition, of course, over 1,500 metres. And she's setting an example to the rest of them here. Anoui coming again, that red and white strip of uh, Poland, kicking away here with 50 to go and eases past with that fabulous cadence past the American Schneider. It's going to be a win for Poland. USA second, and now he takes it. They punches the F407, and Ricky third for Great Britain will run around 409. It was quick, but just not quick enough for the Britain. What a shame. She was so hoping she could go with a quick tempo that might have taken her down to some 47 territory. But now he, well, she deceived us, didn't she? She looked like she was struggling back to the couple of hundred to go when Schneider kicked away. But she had it under control. She looked very, very sharp over that last 50 or 60 metres. And so she should. She's run 402 this year. She was within herself. She just kept everybody in her sight. She made sure that she stayed in touch. She let the French athlete go out like a rabbit in headlights. The French athlete did go backwards in the end. But here she had to dig deep, didn't she? The Polish athlete decided to skip the World Indoor Championships earlier this year. But that was a good run, wasn't it, by the American Schneider. But it's maximum points on the track again for Poland. Well, I thought Schneider had that in the bag, I really did. And actually, that's uh, for Schneider going away. is uh, a lifetime best, 408.04, despite being caught by Anoui of Poland there. Rangy, look at the flailing arms of Anoui, the head rocking from side to side, probably the smallest athlete in the field. But uh, while the scoreboard shows a season's best for Schneider, we have it down as a personal best from the American. Doesn't really matter, it was a brave run, so nearly produced uh, the fruition she wanted but Anawi maximum points for the pole once more how many more times are we going to say that these next one and a half uh, sessions and uh, personal bets for Riki in third place consolation 409.05 for Great Britain uh, good win for Poland the American using the big screen at the end of the stadium to check her position as well but maximum points for Poland and wearing a very poignant black ribbon as well. Yes, yes, that black ribbon on the uh, Polish vest. Sofia Anawi wearing one there after that 1500 win is, of course, in respect of uh, Irina Szewinska, who passed away just a few days ago, one of the greats of European athletics, a 400 metres champion in Munich back in 1972, Olympic champion. But Anawi wins from Schneider and the Riki. Season's best and personal best for the American and Britain. Some consolation.